All right, everyone. I've been having uh, problems with the fill tool in Anime Studio Pro, the paint bucket tool, which is right here. It's grayed out right now, but you know, pretty much you'll draw a shape, and then it's not a consistent problem. It you know appears randomly, so we'll see if we can get it to work here. But you know, you have like an eight point shape, for example. You'll try to fill it in with the paint bucket tool, and it'll add couple dozen extra points and you know obviously that's not necessary because you already defined the points but on top of adding all those extra points it distorts your image so we'll see if we can get it to work um, so we'll do the typical window frame you know we'll have the square outside rim draw the inner rim for the negative space highlight them all hit the U button and we made a shape we can see there's some distortion here after the create shape tool is hit and there's one here pick up here here and here I'm not sure if that's just a graphical display uh, goof or if it contributes to the problem or if it's all in the paint bucket but anyway um, and this happens with round caps turned on or off so that doesn't this doesn't seem to do much really so we'll turn it off for the time being and grab the paint bucket tool and zoomed in for some reason zoom out paint bucket tool and there you see we have this is an eight point shape and it pretty much added a couple dozen extra points and on top of again the points being unnecessary look how bad it distorts the image it's, this is completely bumpy and crooked I'm not sure if it's trying to round these out. You know, I, there's no reason to round them out when I already defined what they are. Uh, and on top of that, it's bumpy. Uh, there's a bump here. This is crooked. This is higher than this point. You can see the lines all messed up. Yeah, you can see, you know, we have, we just drew two perfect rectangles and out of nowhere, it has, has this jagged edge right here another jagged edge and you know where's it where is it getting the idea to put that put these jagged edges in there I have no clue uh, so yeah very highly annoying and I pretty much try to have been avoiding using the paint bucket tool because of that uh, yeah so if anyone has any clue or ideas or this problem has been around for a while let me know and we'll, we'll turn round caps on see if that does anything uh, as far as I could tell I've tried it both ways with round caps turned on with it turned off you know I don't notice a difference problem still happens either way so we'll do it again draw shape draw the inner negative space hit the U button make a shape grab the paint bucket tool and there we go happens again so yeah so you've seen it happen both with round caps turned on and off so that's not a factor and on top of that it's this is like an inconsistent problem like if I drew you know 10 more of these the same way eventually one of them would be okay but yeah so I pretty much avoid the fill tool um, I've heard other people having the same issue uh, it's a giant pain in the butt and for the record there is a quick workaround um, you could just highlight them make a shape and then hit the space button and then it'll fill in so if anyone is having this issue this is this is an alternate method you could just uh, draw your strokes uh, make the shape defined and then with everything with your shape highlighted you could um, press the space bar and it'll fill in anyway so see if we, we see if we can get it to do it again but already you've seen it work twice um, paint bucket tool got that highlighted yeah see all right and that's with the anti-aliasing on still same issue with the fill tool completely baffles me really annoying and uh, 
you know, not many people speak out about these issues, but uh, there are plenty of people that encounter these and they just live with it. But, you know, it's been a few years and this problem has been around for a while. And, you know, for the record, this is a brand new project. I just opened this up. Uh, 